Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be planning in my classic size Encourager layout happy planner. And I'm going to be using the Mega Pastel sticker book and some of the black colorful boxes out of this new one. So this will be our first full week in November. And I did go ahead, I redated my monthly calendar. I pre-chose some stickers already. And the color scheme in the layout this week or for the month of November has changed from what it was in October. So we have these um, blues or teals, purples, um, just different shades of those colors. So I thought that the Pastel Mega Sticker Book colors would match pretty good with this spread. So the first thing I need to do is redate. And I thought it would be cute to take some of these circles, cut them in half, and cover up the dates that are on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and um, I'll fast forward through this part so you don't have to watch it all. I am going to white out my dates because I don't like seeing numbers behind my stickers. But this is what it's going to look like. Hopefully it'll look cute. I am going to leave the um, days of the week up here and just cover like that. So I think that'll look cute. I'm going to do every other one purple and pink. So I'll go ahead and fast forward through that part and I'll be right back. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my memory keeping dates and holidays sticker book and I think I'm going to use the pink one this time because I think it has the numbers in it that I want to use yes these so let's see I've used so many different random numbers out of here so all right Monday is the fourth So I'm just going to go ahead and date this and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So what I thought was that I could take this long checkbox and put it on my Thursday since Thursday is like my busy filming editing day, but I do want to cut off the bottom florals because I'm only going to use part of this box here on Thursday and then I thought I could use the rest of it over at the beginning of the week. So let's see where, I think I'm just going to start down here and stick it down here in the bottom of this box. And I'm going to need to white out these two lines again so they don't show through my sticker. Oh, and these two. No, those don't show through. Actually, do they do a little bit, but that's okay. And, of course, I cut my sticker crooked. All right, so that is going to be my starting box. And then um, I'm going to go back to the first of the week because I was going to put this sticker that says kind people are my kind of people down here. So I'm going to go ahead and white out all the pink on the random acts of kindness so that it doesn't show through. Okay. So because the reason I did that was because I have black over here. So I wanted black over here and then I thought it would be cute to come in with some um, black colorful boxes as well. 
So we'll kind of see how that goes. I thought it would be cute to layer these two boxes here at the beginning of the week. So we're going to put this down here in my focus box. And just kind of layer this today sticker here. That's crooked, isn't it? No, it's okay. All right, and then um, I also picked this sticker that kind of matches these two match. So I thought it would be cute to put over here on my weekend. So maybe put it on Saturday. Do I want to put it on Saturday? Yeah, let's try it on Saturday and see how I like it because I also chose a quote to go down here. All right, now I was going to use this piece of a box somewhere over here. And then maybe it'll be cute to kind of layer a black box over it so I can write two separate things here. I thought this purple make all the plans banner would be cute somewhere. So let's see where we can add it. Let's just kind of layer it here. Okay, that's cute. All right, and then this is my quote. It says, smile, shine, and take it one day at a time. So I was thinking maybe I could take one of these colorful boxes. These are actually made to fit in your monthly layout. But I was thinking maybe I could take this and put it somewhere over here because I have this black outline here. So I could have another black outline sticker on this side. So let's see how my quote fits in there. I think it's going to fit pretty good. And then I can come in with some florals and stick in there too. Let's see. I think I'm just going to kind of not quite center it but lay it in there and then we'll put this over here at the bottom on Sunday okay that's cute all right so those are all the stickers that I have pre-chosen um, let's see what else do I want to do I think I'm going to come in with a couple black colorful boxes and then finish up with some florals. So I think I want to do like a black colorful box. I'm just going to stagger it over here because I don't like boxes inside of boxes for some reason. I don't know. For some reason I don't like that. So then let's just kind of put this one down here. Okay, so I think that's enough boxes. Now I'm just going to kind of fill in with some flowers to um, just make the spread a little more bright and cheery. So I'm going to grab, let's see what I want here. I can use this. So I'm just going to grab a few and stick them on my wax paper until I decide exactly what I want to use. I like these. Now I'm going to try not to fill up too much space with flowers because I do need room to write. And like I said, I'd rather write on the page than in a box. I said that in a previous vid video. So let's grab this. Let's go ahead and start with those and see where it takes us. So we can just kind of cut the bottom off of this sticker and lay it on top of this colorful box. And a flower just turns a colorful box into a much prettier creation. And let's see. Um, 
I could probably come in beside here and like cut this one down and put it right in here. So let's do that. Actually, I think I'll move it a little bit lower down. So we'll put it like right down here. And then this page is probably going to be done. So let's move to this page and see what we can do here. Um, I've got already got one piece left over from the other side. So we'll stick that piece up here. And what else do I want to do? I may just take this. And kind of put it maybe down here and I'm not going to worry about getting rid of any of those lines so I think this turned out pretty cute so this is my social media planner and um, I do write something in each day but Thursday is my big day um, for writing to-do lists so I do like the checkbox down here um, down here at the bottom, I always write my YouTube and Instagram stats, so I like to leave that open on most days. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would consider. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the little bell beside it so you get all notifications when I upload. Um, so this is what it looks like here, and um, I'll see you all on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.